All right, let's take a look at uh, question 14. It reads, the probability that Gary and Jane have a child with blue eyes is 0 0.25, and the probability that they have a child with blonde hair is 0 0.5. The probability that they have a child with both blue eyes and blonde hair is 0 0.125. Given this information, the events blue eyes and blonde hair are independent, independent, mutually exclusive. Okay, so first things first, what we'll do is focus our attention on the first two parts. Um, an event or a sequence of events could be dependent or independent. Okay, if it's not dependent, then it's independent. So what we're going to do here is first of all, determine dependence or lack thereof, and then focus on um, mutual exclusivity. Okay, all right. So to determine if two events are dependent or independent, this is a formula that we're going to be using. Okay, so the formula for independent events is as follows. <clears throat> Um, two events are independent if, if probability, let's say event A and B, okay, probability of event A and B is equal to the probability of event A times the probability of event B. If this equation holds, then um, events A and B are um, independent okay then events a and b are um, independent so that's what we're going to be using for the first two parts all right so first things first let's uh, go ahead and declare what our variables are in this particular scenario so let's start with um, probability of a child having blue eyes. Oops. Okay, so probability of blue eyes. Let's call that P B E. Okay, and that's 0 0.25 as you can see there. And then what is the probability of a child having blonde hair? Okay, of Gary and Jane's child having blonde hair. The probability we will express using the notation BH and the probability is 0 0.5. Probability of having both, so probability of having blue eyes and blonde hair we'll use the notation P of B E and B H uh, in this particular scenario it's 0 0.125 okay so the question is are these two events um, independent or not so let's go ahead and test it out using this formula we just talked about here, but we're going to um, adapt it to this scenario. So if the probability of blue eyes and blue hair, that the child has both of them, is equal to the probability of blue eyes multiplied by the probability of blue hair, if this holds then, um, we have uh, independence, okay? BE and BH are independent, or else they are dependent. So let's go ahead and do the mathematics here. So probability of a child having of their child having both blue eyes and blonde hair is 0 0.125. So the question is: Is this equal to what you get? When you multiply these individual probabilities, probability of blue eyes is 0 
no, is 0 0.25, and then probability of blonde hair is 0 0.5. So when you multiply these two on the right side, what do you get? You get, let's work it out. <coughs> So if you have 0.25 times 0.5, your answer is 0 0.125. So this is 0 0.125. Oh, they are uh, equal. So what does that mean? This means that the events, um, blue eyes and blonde hair, are independent. OK? So let's make that quick notation there. This implies that. Um, Uh, the events, the two events are independent. The two events are independent. Okay, so we can cross out the first one, and option one is gone, option three is gone. So now the question is, is are these events independent only, or are they independent and mutually exclusive, which would be option four? So let's focus our attention on mutual exclusivity. Uh, to get that part started, we will take a look at the formula to determine if um, two events are mutually exclusive. All right, so the formula um, is as follows. So we have the formula for um, mutually exclusive events. So if the probability of an event A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B, then that follows that the events are the events are mutually exclusive. Okay? If not, then they're not mutually exclusive. Okay, so uh, another thing you want to note is that probability of A or B is equal to um, probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Okay, all right, so let's get started. We want to uh, answer the question um, is let's change the color is probability of blue eyes or blonde hair is it equal to probability of blue eyes plus the probability of blonde hair? If this is true, then the events are mutually exclu ex exclusive. If not, then they're not. Okay. So let's start with the first part. So we're going to break it up. Okay. We'll do um, part one and then part two, and then uh, we will equate them to, and see if they are equal to each other. So that's one, and then that's two. All right. So let's start with one. We want to find the uh, probability of blue eyes or blonde hair. All right, let's do this. So what we're going to have is we're going to use the formula right here. Probability of blue eyes or blonde hair is equal to probability of blue eyes. That's just like probability of A plus probability of blonde hair minus the probability of blue eyes and blonde hair. Alright, let's substitute the numerical values. Probability of uh, blue eyes is 0.25. Probability of blonde hair is 0 0.5. Uh, and then probability of uh, blue eyes and blonde hair is 0 0.125. All right, so when you do the computations, you end up with 0 0.625. All right, so we're done with the first part. 
So we'll advance to part two. So for part two, the question is, uh, what is the probability of blue eyes plus, plus the probability of um, blonde hair? Okay, so for part two, let's put it in green. We have, we're going to find, uh, what are we trying to find here? We're trying to find was the value of probability of blue eyes plus the probability of blonde hair. Okay, so let's do it. So we have a uh, probability of blue eyes plus the probability of blonde hair. Probability of blue eyes is 0 0.25 and then you add the probability of blonde hair 0 0.5 and your answer is 0 0.75. Okay, so the question is are they the same? And the answer is not, is no. 0 0.625 is not equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so since the probability of blue eyes or blonde hair is not equal to the probability of blue eyes plus the probability of blonde hair. What does that follow? It follows that the events are not mutually exclusive. Okay? So the answer is option number two. Okay, because three is a fail, one is a fail. And then we have option two as our final answer.